for you 19% of women that watch my content. Ladies, have you guys noticed the shift in the dating market? Have you guys noticed what's going on with men, especially the good men, the good men that are hardworking, the good men that are looking for wives, family, the good men that have built themselves up and the only thing that's left now is to start a family. Have you ladies noticed what's been happening? The shift, more and more men are becoming comfortable with being alone. More and more men are becoming comfortable going without sex. More and more men are becoming comfortable with not even dating. Men are becoming more and more comfortable by being by themselves. Why? Because of the way modern women have destroyed dating market. Nearly half of all young adults are single. Now, look at these numbers. 34% of women, twice as many, a whopping 63% of men. What explains that? I pulled the Pew study and I read with interest. Turns out since 2019, the share of single men who say they're looking for dates or a relationship has declined from 61% to 50%. In 2018, 28% of men ages 18 to 30 reported they'd had no sex in the past year, compared with 18% of women of that age. And that is what we're going to talk about in today's episode. Hello, welcome to Reactions and Reviews. I'm your humble host, Eze. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. So how is it that we've been duped exactly? Being the strong, independent woman that so many of us are today, we were married at a higher rate than most demographics in the 50s and 60s. The man would go out and work, the woman stayed home and took care of the place and the kids. But somehow that lifestyle was demonized and looked at as a mockery for the modern lifestyle that we now have today. Ever since feminism and the whole women's rights movement came into play and women were now able to go out and do what the men do, going out to work and have businesses, we somehow felt as if that made us better women. And that's not to say that women can't work or have businesses or anything of the sort. She said, but we as women had a life that was easier for us back then. And modern women today now, according to many surveys, we're more depressed, we're more anxious, we have a lot more mental health problems than we did ever before. And our women are the least married than we've ever been in history. We physically and figuratively wanted to wear the pants in the relationship while all the while they were using reverse psychology on us. And may God continue to bless this young sister. She is 100% right. Black women have been duped. Like she said before, we were the most married. We had most children. We, our community was thriving. But a lot of our sisters allow feminism and desire the government to twist them up. To not start thinking they are men or their enemy. You understand what I'm saying? Fast forward to today, to today, not only feminism and anxiety destroy the black family, social media is a nail in the coffin. The thing that finally just destroyed entirely America to where now women are so delusional that they have finally won. They have won. And men, good men have said, you know what? You ladies can have it. You want a tall man. You want a good looking man. You want a man with six pack. You want a man that makes six figures. You want a man that lives in a mansion. You want a man with big fat bank account, right? So average man that's making 40K, 50K, 60K, 70K are no longer good enough. You know what? Go at it. Go have your tall man. Go have your high value man. Bye bye. That is what men have said. And for the past five years, women are starting to see the result. Not only are they not happy, they are feeling the pressure. Being single is for the god birds. I'm over this. I just want to be laid up with someone. I just want to be appreciated. And then this wants to reverse it back into their spots. It's beautiful outside today. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to eat my lunch, I'm going to go outside, I'm going to sit before my next class, it's going to be good. I get outside and I look around and I realize I am quite literally the only person sitting by myself. It just made me so sad, sad to the point where I got up and I literally went inside and I felt like I couldn't enjoy the stunning day that it was today because I was like, I'm so sick of doing stuff by myself. I have friends. 
don't get me wrong my friends are incredible i love my friends they're like my sisters but they have lives and i feel like i don't and every time a beautiful day comes around i'm like i wish i had someone to like go on a walk with i wish i had like friends that i saw more often i wish i had a boyfriend so f bad you guys i don't know but it made me really upset and i literally got up and i went inside because i was like this is so embarrassing let's talk about what the f you supposed to do on your off day when you one don't f with nobody two don't got no man three don't have no extracurricular activities to do four you ain't got no appointments to be at what the f do you do on your off day i don't want to lay in the bed kind of cute for no reason like i don't want to just lay in the bed but whatever guess i have to if you made it this far hit that like button and leave a comment to trigger youtube's algorithm so hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to let you know every time i upload a new video like extreme loneliness is really a problem it's truly a problem it is so sad i can literally feel the pain in my heart i literally feel my heart squeezing i am trying my best i'm trying my best to break through this but it's literally been so reoccurring so often I feel like it may actually start to affect my health. And that's really sad, but um, this is the truth. This is truly the freaking truth. And it, it, it's sad. It's sad, it hurts, literally. I have so many different stories I could share. I just don't even know where to start. <laughs> and that's the, that's the crazy thing about it. I don't even know where to start. God, I'm just like in a different space right now. Cause the shock, the hurt, the disbelief, the um the repetitiveness of it all is so repetitive and reoccurring it's like a curse am i cursed that's what i'm starting to feel i'm starting to feel like i'm cursed like i'm just cursed to be single do anybody else feel like they cursed too my dear sister it is not that hard it is not that hard and what do i mean it is not that hard because it's attitude. That's what a lot of sisters don't, don't understand. Attitude. Change your attitude. Be easy to get along with. Be friendly. Be kind. Smile. Respect the man you are interested in. Let the man be the man. Let go of that. I'm independent. I don't need no man. Let that go. This sister right here is feeling how she's feeling. Why? Because she has not looked herself in the mirror and told herself, self, what are you doing wrong? And what can we do to change this situation? She hasn't done that. Instead, she is just complaining and talking about it. Instead of complaining and talking about it, do something about it, my dear sister. Change your ways or change your environment. Move to a different city and stuff fresh. Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree or do you disagree? Either way, leave your comments below so we can start this conversation. Until the next video, stay safe in the streets. Later. That will wrap it up for today's episode and thank you for joining me. So please, leave your comment uh, below. If you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Leave the comment below and also, you tell me what you want me to cover. You tell me what you want me to discuss and what you want me to react to, okay? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you on the next episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let's rebuild the Black Nuclear Family. It is needed, okay? God bless.